<laughs> Did he yeah. crash into the yeah, he crashed into an S-Watch right <laughs> Did he crash and try to fire some Yeah, he, he, he hit an S-Watch. Hey, is the last kill. Welcome back, everybody, to another video. And today, we're going to be taking a look at front cross-sectional radar and orbital radar. Two different styles of radar format that you're going to have access to whether you're in a Gladius, an Aero, an Archimedes, a 300i, you name it. Most ships utilize what's known as the spherical radar system or the 360 degree or all around radar. And some ships like the snub fighters, including the Archimedes, use what's called front cross-sectional radar. We're going to distinguish between both types of radar to help you in your situational awareness. So let's begin. So a couple things to note as we get into the radar here, but like I was saying before about most ships having the same style of radar, which is this kind of omnidirectional 360 degree radar. The point of you is at the center of the radar, which should be quite obvious. And the direction that you should be concerned with is anything from the center point forward. I've drawn in some, some locations here that shows you also the distances and ranges that you should be concerned about. It's important to understand and to know that the distances that you should be most concerned about obviously are that anything inside that smaller center circle inside the sphere is what you should be worried about. Anything inside that zone, you have to assume that they have a weapon solution on you. And so if you have more than one target in that circle, you have to assume it's either a two, three, or, ho or hopefully not even a four v one situation. Remember these ranges because they'll be extremely useful as you engage targets in the field. Here we see a good example of a Drake Cutlass engaging our cone of influence inside our 360 degree radar cone. And then again, once he gets within weapons range right here, he's just under that 1500 meter mark. So he's inside our last little circle. And that's when we can start engaging, right? Be sure to make sure that whenever you're engaging multiple targets or missile systems are after you you're gonna have time to quickly look at your radar to get an idea of the angle of attack that whatever missile system or possibly third party is coming in from use these angles and these tips to kind of give yourself the best chance you can because when it comes to avoiding missiles creating as much deflection as you can the best way to do that is to know where the missile is coming from and the radar helps with that tremendously so other than the 360 degree uh, radar, what other radars are there? Well, let's take a look. There are different names for this style of radar that you're about to see here, but I call this one the front cross-sectional radar. So if you were to imagine here, the inner circle that's separated into four quadrants plus the small circle in the middle resembles anything from the front of your ship or the horizontal plane forward. Maybe this illustration will help understand it. So if you were to imagine that anything, you know, within the first 180 degrees of the front facing of the Archimedes here is going to show up on the center section of that radar. And anything that gets outside of that 180 degrees in front of it is going to immediately turn back to the outside edge of that radar and say, basically, okay, it's behind you somewhere. Essentially, you're looking through a cone and this cone or this cross-sectional radar is is scanning and showing you everything that it sees on that radar globe and then as soon as it's outside of its arc of view it automatically puts it into this kind of outside circle behind uh, the front radar this may seem confusing at first but I actually prefer this style of radar because it's direct straight to the point it tells you exactly the angle you need to do whether you need to pull up and to the right down and to the left down and to the right up and to the left Whatever you need to do, it tells you exactly the angle you need to rotate onto. Whereas the, the spherical 360 degree globe can be sometimes confusing with a lot of lines drawn all over the place. So it depends on the pilot. I prefer this style. It's simple, straight to the point, gives you exactly what you need to know. And if something has gotten behind you, it still tells you that you got to go and, uh, and spin around. But the uh, 360 degree globe you could argue is more accurate. However, it's more cluttered. And in an in a intense situation like combat, sometimes simple works. Don't overcomplicate it. That's probably why I like this style uh, a lot more. 
I'll leave you guys off with the last little bit of the video here, and you can take a look at the Archimedes style cross-sectional radar. And maybe you'll feel like I do at the end of this little section here as to why I prefer this style of radar over the other. Thank you so much for all the love and support. I hope to see you out for the next stream on YouTube. I was Avenger1, and I'll see you next time. Nice. Oh, the regime is running. Cats ready. Get the word. Yeah, Avenger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a razor I'm engaging. Wait, he took my rapist? What's the hotkey to lock on to the targets in the gun? Uh, you can press 1. I knocked him his number one time. Locked him. Uh, it's not the That's okay. He's directly uh, Yeah. We're gonna shut him. Oh, I'm getting close to him now. Oh, nice. Big Gladius is down. Yep. Ooh. Well, nice. <laughs> well, that was weird. Yeah, probably. The torpedo is probably the hot again. Yeah, he's back. There it is, torpedo Tally on another. Shit. Oh. Trying to get uh, fire on it. Does it sound good? It's gonna hit. Oh, not. That went crazy. Okay. Nice one. <laughs> Did he crash? Trying to fire torpedoes? Yeah, he, he, hit, he hit an asteroid. Alright, there is the last kill. Nice.